What is up? It's your boy Vox here. I have, I finally have gotten to completing this video, my guide on God of Story. I'm going to have it split up into two parts. This first video here is going to focus on like what God of Story is, where you should buy it, and what to look for, um, and some other little tricks and stuff I've learned over buying and selling and collecting uh, this series of cards for a few years now. So I feel like I know a little bit of hidden stuff that I'll share. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so yeah, I'll go over all that kind of stuff here. Um, the second video is going to be on the selling portion. If you're looking into getting this selling these cards or have already sold the cards but want some more info on what to do. So I'll be going over all my like tips and tricks on what I do to sell, how I sell, what I recommend you should do, yada, yada, yada. That'll be part two. I'm not sure when that'll come out. I We'll work on that. I'm lucky enough I got part one finally finished here. So, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. So, what is God of Story? So, God of Story is a collectible card game that is made in China, not Japan, um, of various anime waifus, as you can see here, some examples. Um, there is a little bit of difference in them. So, there is the core, the original main God of Story set. They come in boxes, for the most part, that look like this. This little kind of square box. Most of the sets look like this. There's a few of the core set that's kind of bigger and different shapes. But the core set will have this little green frog on here from Small Frog Company. Um, that's the ones who make the original God of Story. I call them the core set, the main line, because there's a million off-brand silly ones you can buy, too. So... The main ones have the little frog on them and kind of look like this. So, what are they exactly? Well, they're basically... It's not a game. You just It's mainly collecting different anime characters that you like. Or every single one that you want. So, um, I have some different examples here of like what you would get in a basic core box of Got a Story like this. Um, you get your typical rare cards that are just like this. Have the rare rarity there. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds there they typically have the shatter foil on them they're known as the commons even though they have the rare r on there uh next up is the srs they're just like an improved um of the rare they just have more of a complete foil to them pretty basic foiling there's not really any difference besides what you can see here so there's a couple examples and these aren't from this set. These are just random cards from any sets I picked. If you're thinking, oh, that's a good box, you know. <laughs> uh, SSRs, um, depending on the box, these could be considered a hit. Uh, some boxes, you get like one of these in every pack. So it all depends. I don't. These aren't really that rare. Um, unless they're from like very old sets that are out of print. But they're all, they have like a gold back to them. They have some little gold characters on there. Uh, basically, it kind of just goes in upgrades of, like, common, a little bit better, a little bit nicer. And then you have your actual hits. This is just one example um, of what the hits will look like in some of the boxes. Like, you have your PTR card here. Pretty nice. Very shiny. Lots of pink on this one. There's various different types of hits. They all look different. I'll let you figure out what uh, different cards, so I don't spoil them all <laughs> in the boxes. So yeah, it's mainly collecting. There's no game towards it, towards this thing. Uh, it's just collecting different characters. Um, like on the back of the core God of Story boxes, they do have the set list for the box on the back. Um, if you can read Chinese, then good for you. <laughs> like me, I cannot. So um, some of them you can tell, like, oh, you can see that in English here, there's some Fate and Overlord and a Project and No Game No Life. But um, otherwise, I'm sure most of you do not can't read this or know what it is so uh i'll go a little bit more into it there is a website that can look up the core got a story uh set list of all you'll have the pictures and names of the characters for each set you can have there um the off-brand sets which i'll go over to are not on there so you either have to find a community somebody from the community that has completed the set list on their own or um just find out what's in it <laughs> Pretty much. So that's what it is. Basically just collecting art or cards of um, various waifus. Um, uh, disclaimer that some people will have a fuss about. 
it may or may not be for you. Since this is made in China, there is no copyright laws. So, the art from Goddess Story is stolen art uh, from online. And you might even recognize some of it. You might be like, I've seen that Ganyu before. Uh, I know who that artist is. It's China. So they just steal the images online and they put them on cards. Um, as of the making this video, they have been leaning more towards making AI art. Like, majority of the sets from the time of this video have been AI and going forward. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the standard where they do just AI. But, yeah. Some people go crazy about stolen art and they freak out like... It's horrible. Some people don't like AI, so they don't like the AI cards. It's, yeah, it all comes down to preference to you, basically. So that's basically what it is. Uh, we will get into where you can buy these cards if you are interested. All right. Next, we are going to go over where to buy God of Story, of what I recommend you should and should not do. This may be the longest part of the video, and I may ramble on a little bit about a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm going to kind of go over some, you know, where you should buy them, what to look out for when buying them, um, and all that here. So, uh, there's various spots where you can purchase these cards. Uh, the number one I would say do not do is Amazon. So, on Amazon, you actually can buy goddess story cards if you just search up basic goddess story you see that they do show up now this is a big no some people do not realize this they just see them right on amazon and they will buy them uh this is the worst spot you could buy them from there's only one benefit you could get from buying these cards shipping time uh because the spot where you should buy them from it takes a long time to ship here if you're like, I live in the U.S., so they come from China, so it takes some time to get here. Uh, and Amazon, they uh, will ship quickly, as you can see. Today is January 12th, the recording of this video. Uh, right here, it says, this box will be delivered on the 17th of Wednesday. So that's pretty quick, five days, you know. But this is a $32 box. Now... <laughs> technically this box right here uh i believe is out of print and you can't get it anymore so I'm, this might be somewhat accurate to the price but this box right here see also january 17th uh this box is dirt cheap it is not worth 26 dollars. so you are paying way overpriced if you are buying on amazon this box right here 54 dollars. i will get to it later but i know you can get this box for like 16 dollars so you are overpaying and getting screwed over if you buy from here uh you get the benefit of faster shipping but you're gonna be way overpaying you can you can honestly get multiple boxes for this one box price i would rather just wait for the shipping instead of paying more you know so you technically can buy from here would not recommend so that's one option uh, kind of niche one is Mercari you can buy from. There is some God of Story stuff on here. Um, I kind of, it's slightly better than Amazon, but I would still not recommend it because the stuff is overpriced here too. Uh, you might find some good deals in here, but I still wouldn't quite recommend it unless you're looking for a certain card like this Makima right here. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it. Let's see. Let's if we can find some boxes as an example. Like this. $50 for two boxes. I'm not trying to out the seller or anything if <laughs> if, the, if anyone knows the seller or not. Uh, not worth it. $50 plus $8 shipping for these two boxes. I know you can get um, one of these boxes for like $20. So you can get well, maybe even cheaper than $20. These are kind of not crazy boxes. So, again, it's like Amazon. You get the benefit of faster shipping because these Mercari you have to ship out within three days. Otherwise, the order's canceled. Um, you might find some good deals. $15 for this box plus seven. That's still 20 That's still way over. Um, I know you can get this box for like 8 or $10 with free shipping. So, again... If you want it really quick and you don't care about paying a premium to get it faster, 
you can buy from these. I still just, you might find a good price. See, $65 for the box we just looked at. It's, yeah, not worth it. So that's another option. Uh, a better option, depending on the seller and what you can find, is eBay. So eBay, you know, is going to be just like Mercari and Amazon, where you're going to be paying over the price. But it is the closest you can get to where you should buy them. It's like close. So, I mean, if we look up God's Story boxes... So you might, there might not be too bad of a deal. Again, I'm not calling out any sell. I know some of the sellers on here. I'm not calling any of them out. Uh, I'm just telling how it is. So I'm not saying don't buy from them, but I'm just saying here, like $37 for this Lucky Goddess box. You can get this for like $20. You can get this for like $20. Um, this, I've even seen as low as $15. Um... $20 for this, I mean, with free shipping, I mean, you would think, oh, $20 for a box, that's fine. I know you can get this for, like, $12, so if you want to pay the premium again to get it faster shipped to you, um, yeah, by Wednesday, you get it way faster, but I would just wait, because you can almost get two boxes for this price, you know? So, that's the only benefit. eBay does have sometimes some really decent deals, um, like $30 for this Heavenly Beauty isn't too bad because this set is a little bit harder to find. So, like I said, it's not completely awful. Um, But for boxes, that's where you could. Now, if you want to do singles, I'm going to uh, do a obvious plug in here for my shop. So, <laughs> okay, well, that's not my shop. So, if you want to buy singles... <coughs> You could check out this fancy store right here. Um, sometimes you can get a good deal on single, uh, sing, yeah, single cards. Um, sometimes not. I mean, you can find cards like if you're missing this one card from the set, you can find it here. Um, sometimes there's cards that are very hard to get or not very common. Like I usually get a lot of these metal cards that people don't get. These are very popular. People really like the metal cards. You get some high rarity stuff like that, you know, um, stuff that people really want. So there's chances for there to be good deals on eBay. Um, but I'll show you what is the absolute best spot to do it. AliExpress. This is the main spot of where the goddess story comes from now i know some people are hesitant towards aliexpress because it's a chinese website it's like it's basically chinese amazon uh and they have the wackiest stuff here like there's a couple of sus items that they're showing here they're like what the heck like what is this <laughs> um this is the spot you want to actually buy if you're serious about buying a lot if you want to buy one box off eBay, pay a little bit more just to see if you like the cards or not. That's completely fine. I don't. I'm not against that. But if you actually want to buy like card cards, um, this is where you're gonna to want to go. So if we just search up basic got a story cards, this is where you'll find the best prices and the new stuff that comes out and everything. So prices are going to be a bit lower as of recording this video because they have a winter sale. Uh, Today is actually the last day for the winter sale. So you can see some of the prices are cheaper. Uh, let's see if I can find the store I typically... Seller I typically buy from. Uh, doesn't look like... They are on here. Got a story official store just gonna let's see if i can find them here they are all right so i'll have links to a few stores that i recommend sellers to buy from uh because some of i mean it is aliexpress in china some sellers are a bit shady and try to be a little scammy so you kind of have to be careful of who you're buying from i wouldn't recommend buying from anybody that's under 96 percent um you can always check how many followers they have uh, how much they've sold. They've sold 4,000 in 180 days. That's pretty good. Uh, they've got these top credibilities. You know, they've been doing it since the 20, 
July 10th, 2022. So just a quick view of like, just look if they're good enough. Because sometimes the price might be really good, but you see the store has like 89% positive. You're most likely going to get screwed over. So I'll link a few in the description of stores I recommend buying from AliExpress. Uh, doesn't mean you have to buy from them. That's just who I would recommend. So here's where you want to buy them. Now, it's a little hard to navigate because they will have a million listings of, like, the same items. Uh, and sometimes they trick you by putting, like, an off, an out-of-print set, like this 10 ML1. This is out-of-print. This is hard to get. They'll trick you to click on it because when you click on it, you look at all their different options. That box is nowhere to be listed here. So they do that, like, see this box? It's nowhere in here to be uh, purchased. They will trick you like that just to get you to click on the link. It's so stupid. So even if they're the trustworthy seller, they do stuff like that. So be careful. Um, so yeah, box prices and stuff you can see here. Way better. Like here's the box I was looking at for that $23 on Amazon. Even, I mean, it's the winter deal right now, but they have it on sale for nine, about $9 rounded up. Uh, shipping is $2, but if you order over $10, it's free. I mean, this is $9. If you order a second box, free shipping. So for $18, you could get two boxes of these with free shipping. Um, and that's still cheaper than the one box on Amazon. So yes, it will take longer. But if you want more value for your cards, definitely buy off AliExpress. The normal price is $12. Even at normal price, you can get two boxes for the price of one on Amazon. Uh, so you're way overpaying on those other websites. Um, you have all various types of boxes here. Some of them you might not even know of. Like ACG is a little bit different. You have your off-brand boxes. Uh, here's the bunny box that I was talking about. You know how we saw earlier at $56 and $65 on Mercari. Uh... And it's on sale for $17.30, the same shipping deal, which this is over $10, so it's free shipping. So $17, you can get this box with a metal card gift. Or you can pay $65 on Mercari. So you can see why this is the spot you want to buy. Uh, so you can do some browsing. There's a whole bunch of sets you can look through and buy. Some of them um, way more popular than others. Some of them are off-brand and really odd. Like, this one's got some off-brand ones. Like, Project Maiden 2 is really good. Uh, this has some really nice cards in it. It's not part of the core goddess story, because it doesn't have the little frog symbol on it. Um, and the core goddess story typically all look the same. They might come in boxes of square like this, but you can see there's the frog on there, yada yada. Um, some of the listings will have an actual set list at the bottom here of what it is. This is Cherry Blossom Kiss, a very old set. But if you scroll down, you can look through and kind of... They might give you a set list of cards in it like this, which is nice. If you're like, I don't know what's in this box. Here's an example you can see on different listings. Um, like this one. They have the 5M08 set here. And some examples of cards. I got like Farina, some very rare stuff. And you can get an idea if you want that box or not. Again, I will go over... Uh, set lists and stuff later in the video. So, yes, AliExpress is where you want to buy uh, cards. If you want even more value for your money, try to look for listings that give you a... Um, most sellers will give you an extra promo pack, which is like a promo card that you get bonus. Or what I recommend is listings that give you a random metal card. So... Uh, metal cards, like I was showing on my eBay shop, do sell for quite a bit and are quite popular. Um, so most boxes, like this is a $15 box. Um, you get one metal card in here uh, per box. So if you order five boxes, you get five metal cards, and it's pretty good. So, yeah, AliExpress is the website you want to buy stuff from. Always check for deals and stuff. Check for sellers. Make sure they're, you know, reputable. Um... There's a whole bunch of stuff on here you might not be able to find on eBay and stuff. Uh, and new, and when new sets come out, they come out on AliExpress first. Um, so sometimes if you buy one box from a seller, they will message you in on AliExpress here. I'm not sure if we're not signed in, so I'm not sure if we can. Yeah. They 
there's a little messaging system that they will message you uh sometimes promotion images if you buy from them enough of like this is a new set that's coming out uh here's they'll even like message you special deals if you buy from them enough uh got a story official store does with me i've that's who i buy from to sell my stuff they'll say special prices on boxes uh special deals um uh, yeah, so like basically, the more you buy, the more connection you get with a store, the better deals you can even get from there. I have even got some really good deals, uh, and so they'll give you like free items too and stuff. So, yeah, build a connection, uh, you might get some freebies. So I know I kind of rambled on a bit, but this is the website you want to buy from. You can buy from the three I said before, but you're going to want to buy from here. Um, much faster shipping on eBay and stuff, but on here it's going to be slower, but the prices are just much better. Unless, like Gotta Story Official Store, a lot of store uh, sellers on AliExpress will actually ship it really quick if you buy a lot. They, they have their deal all the time that if you make a purchase of $200 or more, they'll give you a couple metal cards as extra bonus, Besides the bonus one you get from per box. And they'll ship it as UPS uh, expedited shipping. So it only takes like a week and a half if you if I make an order of $200 or more. Uh, because that's such a big order. So if you're planning on ordering a lot, you will even get it quick too. If you buy one box, I would expect maybe a month to two months to get it. So even though it does say, uh, a lot of times they'll say like, guaranteed 14 day delivery. That's not always true. So, yeah, AliExpress, overall, where you want to buy them. All right, so now we are going to go over set lists and some other uh, random extra info to finish it up here. So, set lists. There is this website, which I'll link down below as well, uh, Waifu Cards app. Um, it is originally in Russian, so it... If it shows up in Russian, don't be worried. You can't see the pop-up here, but you'll just have to translate it to English or whatever language you prefer. So it might not be 100% correct. Like, this is 15... Uh, I guess it looks pretty correct. Um, this is where you can find the set list for the core Goddess Story sets. So all the sets here... Uh, again, you can't see the drop-down thing, but there's a drop-down here where you can select which set you want to look at. Um... That, we'll just keep going with the theme here. That orange box that we saw on Amazon and AliExpress for cheaper. We will that is called NS08. So if you click on that, it will bring up the whole set list of what you can get in that box seat. And it shows the picture up here that we saw earlier. So you can look through it and be like, I don't know if I want to buy this box. You can check this website if you don't care about being spoiled, what's in the box. Uh, you can look through and be like, I really like that card. I really like this one. Here's Cheshire that we had earlier in the video. Um, it shows you all the potential cards you could get. Typically, um, it only takes like two or three boxes to obtain every single rare and SR card in the core goddess story. Sometimes the SSRs are, you can complete too. This box doesn't have any higher rarities besides SSRs, so you only get the three rarities in this one. But you can see what's all in here. Uh, if we look at one of the newest sets, 10M05, to give you an idea of what could be in here. The lowest rarity in this set is SR. So then you can look through and be like, oh boy, I really like the cards in this set and everything. Then you can see that there's the picture up here. And then you can try to look on AliExpress where this is. You can search 10 mo 5 and stuff like that. Um, this set does have higher rarities in it. Let's get the clear cards. These are promo cards. Um, as you can see, the little rarity down here says promo. So if you want these promo cards... You would have to buy those listings that show the plus one like promo packs, you know. So that's the only way to get promo cards is if you get those little pro silver promo packs to get these, which can be kind of a pain. If you really want all these quintuplets or these love lives, you got to get all those promo packs. Uh, oh, the love lives are not promos. Sorry. 
<laughs> these are promos because they have the little thing here. So if you want all five of these, like if you want these five right here, you would have to get enough promo packs and be lucky enough to buy these. So buying singles off like eBay is nice because like let's say you buy five boxes, you only get these three. You can look on eBay to see if you can buy these two. Or you could check out like Discord servers too to see if anyone's trading or selling. So you get all of your stuff here. Some more fancy cards and stuff like that. And everything. So you can check out the website for yourself to see what kind of boxes you're looking for. There is boxes that are not in print anymore. Um, so you might see like... I want to start from the beginning. NS01. Um... You're not going to get this. I have never gotten this box. And I've been doing this for like two, maybe three years now. This box is impossible to find. <laughs> so some sets you can only buy singles. Uh, these are very hard. I Someone did trade me uh, this BOA card. So I do have this one. So I'm grateful for that. But yeah, some of the cards you just cannot get anymore. Unless you like trade with somebody who's been holding on to them for a very long time. So that's what kind of stinks a little bit. Uh, the boxes also do go in three different types. They start with NS boxes, which are like... I kind of consider them in like tiers. NS, the basic NS, and then they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yada, yada. Um, they're kind of like the basic box. They're the cheap ones that are like good starter boxes. They don't really typically have any high rarities besides SSR. Uh, next, they go up to... 2m boxes i kind of consider that like the next level as you can see there's this is out of print you won't find this anywhere but you can see that there's besides ssr they have a little bit more higher rarity cards in here so it's like a little bit better fancier um then they also then they step up to the next level of 5m so it goes ns 2m 5m 5M boxes are pretty good. As you can see, a lot more fancier cards to pull. We're basically stepping up in, like, um, quality of cards you can get. Again, another out-of-print set you won't find. You may find this set, but good luck. And then there's 10M, which is the, like, final step up. So, basically, NS to 2M to 5M to 10M. That doesn't technically mean that the NS boxes are complete garbage. Um, it just means you get like... I feel like you can consider it like it goes up in premium level. NS is like beginner. 2M is like a little bit better. 5M is like pretty good. And a 10M is like more premium. So as you can see, there's a lot of good stuff in here. You got These are actually clear cards. You can see through them. Um, a lot more fancier stuff. And they kind of go up in price. The NS boxes are typically the cheapest. 2M, 5M, and then 10M kind of vary. But you can kind of think of it as like getting more expensive. So there's those types of boxes there. Um, the off-brand sets do not show up on here. So card lists, set lists, you will have to find on Discord. There are um, various Discord servers you can join to find more info about waifu stuff. I will link three of them in the description. One is mine. Not much for info there. It's just mine if you care to uh, hang out. Uh, two is the main waifu Discord server that has um, actual AliExpress sellers on it. It has the biggest amount of people. Um, they will update when new... They have a channel that updates when new product comes out. There's trading channels. There's all stuff like there. So all like tons of info can be on that one. And then there will be the waifu hub server, which is the third link um, is a newish server where uh, it's more of just a community hangout stuff. So it's like my server, the official waifu server, and then a more of a community hangout server that you can all join and check out card lists and stuff there. So, uh, that's pretty much the info on Gana's story. Uh, I'm pretty sure I left out a bunch of stuff that may not be in the video that I might be missing or may have explained too much or not enough. So that's where I would recommend to buy them and start collecting and getting into if you are interested in the series. You can 
most likely you're going to have to do the research on your own to figure out what works best for you, what you want to collect. I recommend collecting only a certain type of character. Like, uh, I collect One Piece characters. Like, here's Vivi. Uh, if you're really into Chainsaw and you like Makima, I would say try collecting mainly Makima and then maybe a few other cards here and there because it gets, there are hundreds, there, well, I don't know about hundreds, but there are a huge amount of cards and sets to collect from. If you're trying to complete every set, I mean, these Love Live cards are hard to get. Um, well, not too hard, but if you want to get every single one, and then once this, this set is out of print, it's going to be even more harder and expensive to get them. So, like, the sooner you get into collecting the cards, the better, because sets go out of print, they don't remake them. So you're either going to be paying a premium to buy off eBay to complete your set, or you just won't get the card ever. So, I recommend just collecting, like, certain characters or series that you like. If you have the money and you want to <laughs> collect every single card, go for it. I won't stop you, but that's my recommendation. So, that is my part one guide of a little bit of info of what you should buy, uh, where to buy them, and everything. Part two, I am going to go over, when it eventually comes out, uh, selling. If you are interested in selling these cards... Um, I sell on eBay, so I'll be making it from an eBay point of view of like what supplies you should need, what cards to look for to sell, what does and doesn't sell, and uh, deals to get, and how to make a profit, and stuff like that. So, that will be in part two when it eventually comes out. Uh, thank you for stopping by uh, from my video here. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and just straight up ask me a question or ask anybody a question or in the comments below ask anything away because i'm sure i missed a whole bunch from my mindless rambling here so if you have any questions feel free to ask um otherwise stay tuned for part two where i will go over selling if you are interested so thanks for stopping by i'll see you then